Welcome to Unraveling the Scriptures channel. It's possible you've heard of the name Muhammad. For those who don't know, Muhammad was the founder of Islam, the Islamic religion. In this video, I will cover the origins of Muhammad and talk a little bit about the Islamic religion. Therefore, if you are not familiar with the origin and history of Muhammad, I invite you all to watch this video until the end. It would be great if they could leave their likes, comments, subscribe to the channel and share with others so that they can also get to know the origins of Muhammad and Islam, the religion of the Arab people. That said, enjoy more this content of the channel, the origin and history of Muhammad. In Arabic, Muhammad, better known as Muhammad, was an Arab religious, social and political leader and the founder of the Islamic religion. According to Islamic doctrine, he was a divinely inspired prophet to preach and confirm the monotheistic teachings transmitted by Adam, Abraham, Moses and Jesus, as well as other prophets. In Islam, it is believed to be the seal of the prophets. Muhammad unified Arabia under a single Muslim policy, with the Quran and its teachings and practices forming the basis of Islamic religious belief. He was born around 570 AD in the city of Mecca, located in Riyadh. His father was Abdullah ibn Abdul Muttalib, son of the Quraysh tribal leader Abdul Muttalib ibn Hashim, who died a few months before Muhammad's birth. Abdul Muttalib was a prominent leader in Mecca and the head of the Hashemite clan before being succeeded by his son Abdullah. He was also responsible for rebuilding the Kaaba, one of the holiest sites in Islam, after being damaged by flooding. His mother, Amina bint Wab, also died and Muhammad was about six years old, leaving him an orphan. He was raised under the care of his grandfather Abdul Muttalib and his paternal uncle Abu Talib, who was Abdullah's brother and a respected man in the Meccan community. Abu Talib took care of Muhammad during his adolescence and youth. He was a prosperous merchant, and despite the financial difficulties he faced in his life, he cared for Muhammad with affection and protection. Muhammad years later, he used to isolate himself periodically in a cave on the mountain called Hira, also known as Gar Hira, to spend several nights in prayer. This cave is located about three kilometers north of Mecca, in Saudi Arabia. When Muhammad was about 40 years old, around 610 AD, he reported being visited by the angel Gabriel, Jibril in Arabic, in the cave, where he received his first revelation from God. In 613 AD, Muhammad began to preach these revelations publicly, proclaiming to all that God, Allah in Arabic, is one and that complete submission to him is the correct way of life, hence the name, Islam, which in Arabic origin means, submission, or, surrender. He claimed to be a prophet and messenger of God, similar to other prophets in Islam and also in Judaism, which is an older religion. In history, it is mentioned that Muhammad's followers were initially few and faced much hostility from the polytheists in Mecca, Saudi Arabia, for about 13 years. To escape ongoing persecution, Muhammad sent some of his followers to the kingdom of Aksum, also written as Aksum, which encompassed the southern Arabia and a part of northern Africa, present-day Abyssinia, in 615 AD. The Kingdom of Aksum was an ancient state that existed in the region of Ethiopia and Eritrea in East Africa. Its capital was the city of Aksum, which became an important political, cultural, and commercial center in antiquity. The Kingdom of Aksum flourished during the first centuries of the Christian era and played a significant role in the trade routes between Africa, the Arabian Peninsula, India, and the Roman Empire. Furthermore, the Kingdom of Aksum was the first African state to adopt Christianity as its official religion, which occurred in the 4th century AD. The Christian king, known as the Negus King or Najashi, ruled the Kingdom of Aksum during the time when Muhammad's followers sought refuge there. King Negus is remembered with great respect in Islam for his just and tolerant stance towards Muslims who sought protection in his kingdom. Later on, Muhammad and his followers migrated from Mecca to Medina, known as Yathrib at that time, in the late 622 AD. This event, known as the Hijra, marks the beginning of the Islamic calendar, also known as the Muslim calendar. 
In Medina, Muhammad united the tribes under the constitution of Medina in December 629 AD, after eight years of intermittent conflicts with the tribes of Mecca. He managed to gather an army of 10,000 converted Muslims and marched towards the city of Mecca. Muhammad's conquest of Mecca was largely unchallenged, and he took the city with some bloodshed in 632 CE. A few months after returning from the farewell pilgrimage, he fell ill and died. At the time of his passing, most of the Arabian Peninsula had converted to the Islamic religion. The revelations Muhammad was reported to have received until his death were known as al wai which means, sign of God. These revelations were recorded as verses from the Quran, which Muslims consider the very word of God on which the religion is based. In addition to the Quran, Muhammad's teachings and practices, called Sunnah, found in the literature of the Hadiths, are also retained and used as sources of Islamic law today. Now, some curiosities about Muhammad's life, many people know and, at the same time, do not know that he was a direct descendant of Ishmael, through his father, and that he descended from one of Ishmael's sons or, at least, from one of the descendants of Ishmael named Adnan. Although most claim that Muhammad was a descendant of Ishmael, through one of the descendants named Adnan, there are also some speculative views that suggest that he could have other mixtures with different Arab peoples, such as the Midianites or other descendants of Abraham that he had with Keturah. However, the general consensus in Islam about Muhammad's origin is that he was a typical Ismaili. Regarding Muhammad's physical appearance, in some books he is described by his companions as follows. God's messenger Muhammad was neither very tall nor very short, neither absolutely white nor dark brown in color. His hair was neither curly nor lank. God sent him as a messenger when he was forty years old. After that he resided in Mecca for ten years and in Medina for another ten years. When God took him, he had only twenty white hairs on his head and beard. These descriptions help form a physical image of Muhammad according to Islamic tradition. However, it is important to note that these descriptions may vary across different historical and religious sources. It is true that, according to reports from people who accompanied Muhammad, he had physical characteristics typical of a Semitic man, with a Semitic ethno-racial origin. His appearance was reminiscent of the ancient Semites, such as the Arabs, who generally have a yellowish skin tone, neither very white nor dark, and an average height, neither short nor tall. His hair was not curled or straight, but rather wavy, as seen in the tombs of the ancient Hyksos, who were also people of Semitic origin. As for Muhammad's wives, there are different accounts, some saying that he had about eleven wives, while others mention thirteen, considering some of them to be concubines. Among his best known wives are Khadija, Sada, and Aisha. It is widely believed that Muhammad died in 632 AD, in the month of June, and it is likely that he was around 62 years old at the time of his death, although some accounts mention 61 years. Some people claim that he passed away at the age of 62, this time in the city of Medina. He was the founder of Islam, and by some accounts had three sons and four daughters. It is commonly believed that all these children were born to his first wife, Khadija, except for one son named Ibrahim, who was born to Mary. Many Shiite Muslims, however, maintain that Fatima was Muhammad's only biological daughter. Furthermore, he also had an adopted son named Zaid ibn Haritha. Muhammad belonged to the Arab tribe of Quraysh, which had an ancient Ismaili heritage. He was part of the Arab Banu Hashim clan, which was a branch of the Quraysh. There is also a story that relates that, during his first sermons, many Arabs told him that their experience was not a divine revelation, but only a jinn, that is, an ancient Arab demon, playing with Muhammad. This interpretation or perspective was widely held in antiquity during his time, and many people even believed and expressed it to him. However, most Muslim Arabs do not believe that it was a jinn who impersonated the angel Gabriel and conveyed such visions to him. Medina is where Muhammad was buried and is home to the Prophet's Mosque, which is highly revered by Muslims. 
The city of Medina is seen as a place of refuge and peace, and visiting the Prophet's mosque is a common practice for Muslims making the pilgrimage to Mecca. I hope you enjoyed the origin story of Muhammad, which is the starting point of the Islamic religion, adopted as the official religion in most Arab countries, as well as some other North African countries with Arab or Berber origin. Please share in the comments what you already know and know about this historical figure, Muhammad. Leave him likes. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to the channel and also comment if you'd like to watch more videos like this one, addressing other historical characters. See you soon.